There's a little question on Facebook I saw in a blender group about the screw modifier not working correctly. And so basically what I'm going to show you is how you go about using it. First of all, I'm going to just uh, add in oh, a circle because it works better with a um, open geometry rather than closed because closed you'll have all this stuff overlapping over the top of one another and so I'll rotate it on the Y90 and I will also apply the rotation and so the problem that was being had was when they added a screw modifier onto something like this and then they tried to offset it and it looks all strange well the reason why it looks all strange is because it's rotating itself around uh, this because it acts as the axis on all modifiers, the object origin will act as the axis, and depending on its, um, you know, rotation, the object's rotation, that's why I had to apply it, it will go down uh, that particular axis. So before I rotated it over, um, <coughs> or after I rotated it over, the z-axis would have been pointing in this direction, it would have looked like it gone down the x. Many people get confused about that, because I just flipped that z over to the x. Um, by applying that rotation, now we have the Z back in the appropriate direction. The quick fix to this is just to grab this, move it along the x-axis, and we can go something like that, and I think we rotate it around there, because it likes to have it edge on for some reason, and then I can actually flip this around like that and get it to look correct. But this will cause the issues that I was talking about sometimes when you close it up like that. And so, this is basically how you go about using the screw modifier. Now, if you end up having a closed object, and we'll just use a cube. Um, and do the same thing here. Let me just move it out of the way first. And then use the screw modifier. You'll see that there's a lot of overlapping geometry and such. Um, and it doesn't matter if we flip it or not or the calculation order and stuff like that. Basically what it's doing is it's taking the same cube and it's just using the screw modifier all the way up around. And if we were to really screw things up and apply this, you can see that that's exactly what it did. There's a bunch of messiness going on in here. Um, the best way to go about fixing that, and then it's clean. Now we'll need to flip that. So I hope this is helpful to you and how the screw modifier actually works. Um, in case you're wondering why modifiers go strange, the first place you always look is the origin. As you can see, this, when we look at the top, that's the center point of all these actions. Thank you.